So today I was supposed to go out, but plans were canceled and I'm already spent like an hour getting ready. So I was like, why not make a video? And no, I'm on salty. Maybe just a little bit, but that's okay. So instead of feeling sorry for myself and not letting this beautiful masterpiece go to waste, I was like, why not help other people? And I've been meaning to film this video for a while. So you're sitting at home, right? Don't know what to draw, hating yourself. It's like, you've been on Pinterest, you've been on Instagram, you've been outside, you've done all the things that people have told you to do. But here's a way to get out of your funk, man. So what you want to do is find a book, any book. It could be James and the Giant Peach. Catching fire. The fault in our stars. It could be a knock-knock joke. I mean, like, everyone likes a knock good knock-knock joke once in a while. It could be a Pokemon book, you know? Go through your childhood. Relive it. Could even be a poetry book, man. They got a lot of good material in here. You could even read Fifty Shades of Grey. I mean, who am I to judge? I mean, like, I don't own it due to personal reasons, and I also could read it online. But let's not talk about that, now shall we? Now you want to avoid books with pictures in it. So, like, um, Cat in the Hat. We all know what happens to the cat and hat. We all, pictures, Dr. Seuss, all that goodness. Just, no. No little picture books, okay? I really shouldn't throw books. I'm going to be using this book, Best Love Magical Tales for Bedtime, because I love all things magic, and I love bedtime stories. So you want to do, go like this, flip the pages, and then pick a random page. Doesn't matter what page it is, just make sure there's no pictures on it. Stop! Well, this is the beginning of a uh, thing, so let's pick another one. Now, I'm on page 157 of this book, and we're gonna do is gonna read what's on that page. All of it. Every single part. So, on this page, even if it's an incomplete sentence, read it anyway to get some kind of context. It says, At the baptism, and she heard too of the way in which the twelfth fairy had softened her curse. Thank goodness, said the thirteenth fairy. That is just. That is just what I would have done myself. Now I must wait until I can break the spells forever. Years passed. P passed. Years passed. The thirteenth fairy went about her business as usual, but now she took a special interest in the woodland creatures who lived around her cave. She was a much nicer fairy now. At last, the fairy had, bat had news from a passing bird that the whole royal palace had fallen into a deep sleep. So it was pretty interesting. We got news about a fairy, we got news about this spell, and she's nice to her people. Look at all these ideas, you know? So, next thing I want you to do is I want you to draw out what is happening on this page. It could be one drawing of what's happening on this page, it could be all several. You can make a little comic strip of it. This, and I know it's like, but it's not my original idea. This is just so you can start getting your ideas out. Start creating something. This gives you an, an idea just to get you drawing and not exactly giving you this extravagant idea that we need, what we feel we need to have when we're, we're having an art block or when we don't know what to draw. It's okay to take things from other people or authors or um, artists and then kind of use it as a way to get out of your funk. Um, of course you shouldn't like draw something out and be like, this is completely my idea. This is like 100% my idea. Like. This is just for practice, and it shouldn't be, re you shouldn't read a page and be like, oh yes, I'm going to steal this idea, I'm going to draw this amazing artwork based off it, and I'm going to get thousands of dollars. Like, no, that's, that's not what I'm trying to say. This is for practice, and practice only. It's okay to post your finished piece, but also give credit to the author, artist, whatever it is. Also compliment them on their, on their work. Like, I'm kind of curious to see what's happening in this theory, and this curse, and this book was like published in like, the 90s, I think. So, bro, just draw whatever is on that page. Like, make the most of it. Now you're rethinking. Like, Megan, I, I don't own any books without pictures on them. Like, I don't even own any books. Like, all I own is a dictionary. Well, girl, a guy, whatever, you're classified gender. I'm not judging. Be yourself. <laughs> Flip to a page and be like the first word. Draw what comes to mind when you think of that word. So if the word is extraordinary, Draw something you find extraordinary. Don't know what it is, don't know what to draw, pick another word. Just keep going until you get some ideas or inspiration. And it's not, I'm not saying it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. And sometimes you're gonna flip to a page and be like, what is happening on this page? You don't like it? Flip to another one. You got books? I have a bookshelf of books right here, all right? Let me show you this. Okay, so I know my bookshelf's like a mess. But look at all these books I have. I don't even read, but like, 
I have all these books and it's like I gotta put some use to them somehow. Just taking a random book off the shelf and just, just flipping the pages can go give you so many ideas. It's just like going on the internet and seeing all this amazingness and reading all this stuff. It inspires you and just how like, books can inspire you and it's just, it's just like this mind-blowing, this foolproof way, foolproof. You're gonna get some type of idea, okay? You know, if all your books have pictures on them, it's okay. Here's what you're gonna do. You see that Cat in the Hat book? Yeah. Flip to random page from Cat in the Hat. Just any page. Don't even look at it. Okay, here's a good page. It says, That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came up down with a bump from what here in the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. So you see that? Everything's falling. It's going crazy. I want you to take this page and redraw it. How, if you were, if you were the illustrator for this book, how would you draw this page? That's what I want you to do. And if you don't like this book, don't have any ideas, move on to the other one. Now I know what some of you think you're saying, you know? Megan, I, all I own is manga. That's, that's all I own. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can do the exact same thing. So here's a manga. Manga own. I haven't actually read this because I only have the second copy because this is a gift. But anyway, so blue exercise, right? Open to a random page. Read what's going on. See what's happening around. Redraw that. Redraw that page. Or, you know, change up the story. You know, put your OCs in it and completely change it up just to give you some ideas of what's going on. So... I'm gonna make up something. Like I'm imagining this this lady is screaming at her at her students. Um, like you see this this lady right here. Like I'm, I haven't read Blue Exorcist, so I don't know what's going on. But like redraw her and how you would draw her as as a teacher. Like she's talking about demons over here. Like draw her as a demon. Like and I was like Megan, but but I don't have an art style yet. I don't know how I'm supposed to. Well, there's another thing. This is where you can start learning, finding an art style. And if you don't know how to find, have an art style, I'll put a card in one of these corners, I don't know which corner it's gonna be, on a video I made called How to Find an Art Style. TBH, that video may or may not have been made by this point. <laughs> I don't know. Stop making excuses for yourself. Stop saying, oh, I don't have anything to draw. Oh, I don't, uh, no, just, just do it. Just do it. For the longest time, I kept making excuses for myself, like, I don't know what to draw. Oh, that doesn't sound very interesting. That, that, no, stop. Get, get your art supplies. I know y'all have art supplies. Don't be like, uh, uh, just pick something. Pen, pen, color pencil. Don't be like, oh, it's gonna be bad. Oh, it's not gonna be that good. You know what? A lot of art that we do isn't that great. And it's okay. It's not supposed to be a masterpiece. This is supposed to get you out of your funk to make better masterpieces and are great practice for you to get some ideas and get your brain, get your brain going, okay? It's okay not to have good ideas, but doesn't mean you can't draw just because you don't have this amazing idea. Draw something, draw something. I know, I know you're thinking it's probably, it's probably gonna be bad. It's probably gonna be weird. I believe in you, okay? Screw what everyone else says. You have the ability to make incredible artwork, but you can't get to that point unless you start somewhere and stop getting yourself down and being like, I can't, but you can. Now you're thinking like, what if it's not good? What if it's not like how I want it to be? It's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world, all right? One bad piece of art shouldn't get you down. I draw crap. You know what? Let me show you some crap drawings I've been doing. See this? I just did this randomly at school. Didn't even think, just did it. I don't like it. That's okay. But I really wanted to draw, but I didn't know what to draw, so I just started moving my pencil. I was like, I looked around the room and I'm like, girl. That's another girl. Let me just draw a girl. And let's see, uh, girls are sitting. Girls, one girl had her arm kind of like this position. And so I'm like, I'm gonna draw that girl or draw a similar girl like that. Bam, boom, an idea. It was mermaid. I'm like, I wanna draw some mermaids. Did that. Do I like any of these poses? Not really. I've been trying to draw guys. Does that look good? Not to me, it doesn't. To you it might be. That's another thing. Art is subjective. What you think is good may not be good to, may be amazing to another person or may not be good as that person. That means there's no wrong or right answer to art. You do you, man. Do you think I like this girl I drew? No, I hate it. But it's okay, cause I was drawn. I was getting some ideas, getting some practice in. And that's all you really need to do. If you are struggling to draw, just, do it. Don't even think about how bad it's going to be because nine times out of ten it's going to be bad so don't be scared. You know what? Sometimes it might look okay. But sometimes it'd be like wow what was I scared of? 
exactly what I want you guys to feel. Don't doubt yourself. Stop giving yourself excuses to why you can't art. Because sometimes I don't want to art either. But that's how it is. That's how you're going to get better is pushing yourself. Like some of the advice I give, I don't even take my own advice. But I should. Because it helps me and it's going to help you. Anyway, I hope this video made somewhat sense. I tend to get a little when I'm talking about a topic that I'm very like about. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you guys want to see some more interaction, you know, face to face, comment below. If you have any questions, ask them. I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I've been kind of I've been filming videos, and each video I've been filming lately, I've been like, oh, I'm so sorry, I've been gone so long, so I don't know which videos are going to come first. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you would like to see more content from me, press that, press that subscribe button. Anyway, thanks a million, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!